How to submit your active patient panel for LFP billing in the Profile IntraHealth EMR. So in this video, I'll quickly go through the steps the first round, and then I'll do it a second time more slowly and giving more details. So the first step is to have a group that's got your active patient, your whole panel. Now, most people will already have an active patient panel and would be able to submit that. If you don't have it, here is how to create it. We go into the work center and then we go to clinical and then to groups. We are going to create a group to have your active patient panel. So to create a dynamic group, there is a little icon that says new dynamic group. And we're going to call this active patient panel. And the category is where we're going to store it. So if I click there, I can see what are all the categories. So LFP is the bottom, and I'll remember that's where I'm going to store it. Okay, and okay. Now we start creating the filter that should include only my active patients. So we can add a heading there. And the important step is what to use for filtering is normally general. So we're going to change it from general to stored query. Stored query is a more accurate way of generating these panels. So we need to edit the stored query. Click on edit. Here is all the filters that we're going to add. So first of all, we're going to limit it to just the patient who's got a status of active. I scroll down in this list to near the bottom and then slightly back to get status. There is status, and I drag that into the where panel. So this is called the where panel. So I want to have patients where the status is equal to, and I type in a value there, active. Next, I want to limit the patients to just my patients. So here we use a terminology, usual doctor. So I want to find out who is the usual doctor and a quick way you can scroll down or you can just type a U on your keyboard. Oops, got to hit U and there I'm at usual doctor. Open that. So the usual doctor has got all those entries. We scroll down. We want to get the code for the usual doctor and drag it over to the where panel. So where the usual doctor code is equal to my initials. So in this test environment, we call the doctor's initials WS. And that's all there is to it. And click OK. And click OK again. Now we've created the active patient panel under the LFP category in dynamic groups. To run a dynamic group, we go to that green triangle there, which says run. And once we run it down here, we've created our group of active patients. Let me just make this a bit wider. And so you've got some various details of that. We want to be sure that this, these are only our live patients that we currently see. All the status should be active and the provider should be only me. I can scroll through the list just to see that I don't include any other patients and that looks good. Now we can start submitting it and submitting is as simple as doing a bull. Now you can go to Quick Bill there if you've got Quick Bill on your toolbar, but a better way that I'll show you is to use the Undock Patient group. So that icon there, it is looks like a TV screen with a little figure in, is the Undock Patient group. Click on that, and there we've got the group again. Now we need to select all of them. A quick way to select is that green circle with the double tick marks. And there all of them are selected. Now the next important thing is to see there is add quick bill as well. You need to have this in your EMR or your EMR might require an upgrade. So I click on add quick bill and this is a normal billing template. So we start off the provider is WS which is the current doctor. The service is now the new code 98990. 
98990 and that is the LFP submit patient service and you need to add a diagnosis this is a requirement and the diagnosis is L23 L23 uh, needs to be available in your system and lastly we need to add a location which is L for long uh, longitudinal primary care practice and that's all there is to it and then you can hit OK and that means your patient panel is now submitted to MSP this is a test environment so I'm getting lots of error messages here ignore them and the job is done okay if you want to have it in more detail please continue watching good day and welcome to this demonstration session. My name is Ferdy Lowe. I'm a health technology coach with Doctors of BC. Today we are working on the IntraHealth profile system and the purpose is how to submit your patients for LFP billing. So for LFP billing, you need to submit all your active patients by submitting a billing code. The first task we do is to go and find out who are your uh, active patients? What is your panel? So for that, we go to the work center and then down to the clinical part. And under clinical, there is a section on groups. Now, there are many ways that you can have a group that lists your active patients. If you've got a group that lists your active patients, then you can just run it and you don't have to do the whole process that I'm going to demonstrate now. If you want to create a list of your active patients, we start off as follows. So we want to make a dynamic group and we click in that dynamic group section and to create a new group, I click on that icon there that says new dynamic group. And we're going to call this new dynamic group my active panel and it's a good thing to add your initials to it that people will know that is your group there are different categories where you can store it depending on the setup of your emr there might be a lot of places so i'm going to store this under test 0 2.0 and click ok and here you can add a caption again and I'm just going to call it active panel and the next section is very important useful filtering is currently set to general we're going to change it from general to stored query that is something that's not commonly being done so that is why we provide this um, instruction once you've selected stored query you will have an option to edit your stored query. Let's do that now. And I click on edit stored query. In here, we're going to start from the object first. So you can see there the object selected is patient and we can't change that. We're happy with using that. And then I'm going to scroll down right to the bottom where we can get the status. So there is status and I drag that status over to this where section. You see there it says where and we want the patient status is equal to active. Now in some clinics you're not using active or active only. There could be something like registered or um, some other status that you use but for the purpose of LSP, LFP who are your active patients that you want to do LFP billing for and in most cases that would be just a value active for every patient and then you want to see a panel of only your patients so there are various ways to filter a group to get to your patients i'm going to show one way that works always and that can that we're going to implement here there are different ways you can do it but here we go to usual doctor so let me just recap if you I scroll to the top of this list and it's alphabetically so a quick way uh, let me just close that again if i just type a u on my keyboard there i'm at usual doctor 
And now we scroll down to the bottom of that. We want to get the code of the usual doctor. And again, I take that code and I drag it over here. And I'm going to say I'm looking for the patients whose code, usual doctor code, is equal to my initials. So in this case, I'm going to use WS. I'm in a test environment and WS is the initial of our test doctor here. That is all you need to do. Some people would like to add an additional safety and see, okay, I only want to list the patients that I've seen lately. And then we will go and look for the date that you've last seen uh, the patient. Um, where do I find that? Uh, yeah, let's go down here. Date last seen. Or you can have date last contact and pull that in there. Now this part is optional. If you've got your active panel and you know those are the patients that you've seen recently, then you can use it just like that. But if you need to make sure that you don't add old patients that haven't been seen in the last uh, five years or uh, less, then you can say, okay, the date last seen must be greater than. And in the next field, I type in today minus five years. So in that way, it's only going to look for patients that's been seen in the last five years. Now, since I'm in a test environment here, we haven't got our dates last seen up to date. So I'm just going to select that and delete it. I'm not going to apply that in this case. Um, so in most clinics, if you just have active status and the code of the usual doctor, then you're good and we can click on OK. And here again, we've done our setup for the query, the filter, and we say OK. Now I can see there it is and we can run it. The way you run a group is by clicking on that green triangle up there that says run. So let's see what happens if I run it. There I've got an active panel of 23 patients. And the provider is listed there, so I can check that yes, let's scroll through the whole list. I'm scrolling down to the bottom and see all of them are mine. Um, if you've got uh, hundreds of patients, then you would click on provider to sort it by provider and sort it the other way around and see that you don't see any gaps in the data there. Um, in the first part, there is the uh, name listed. And these are the patients that we would like to submit. So now comes to the big thing where something new that you haven't done before. Once you've got your active patients and you're happy with them, you can look at various aspects here, whether you're happy with what you see. Is this really you want to work with? Let me make this a bit bigger. And then you say, yes, these are the patients want. I want to submit them. So I want to do a billing for them. But we're not going to run to Quick Bill. Quick Bill is an option there. We're going to use a different way. We're going to go to Undock Patient Group. So again, you've got your patients here. And that little icon with a screen with a man in is Undock Patient Group. And I click on that. Here I've got the whole list again. So it's the same patients. I've got them all listed. And I want to submit all of them. Now, the quick way to tick all of them is to click on that green circle there, tick all patients. Oops, all my patients have been ticked. Now, once you've selected the patients, there is another icon that says add quick ball. And that is the new thing we're going to use. Now, if you don't see that add quick ball in your profile, it means you're on an older version than version 8.8. .8. Uh, that means you can go to IntraHealth and ask them to upgrade your EMR that you've got a version 8.8 .8, and then you should have access to this quick ball. If you don't have access, there is a workaround to do it. So that link there takes you to the quick ball for 37 patients. We can bill all 37 in one shot. So first of all, you provide the provider which is uh, WS in this case. And then in the next field, 
we want to know what service are we providing. So the service code is the new 98990. And there it says uh, LFP submit uh, patient is what that code is being used for. Um, you need to have that. If you don't have that service code there, we'll have to follow up a bit later how to update your service codes from MSP. Diagnosis 1 is important. There you should do L23, Longitudinal Family Physician Claim. So please use L23 there. If you don't have L23, then that can be added. And the next thing that's important is location. There you'll see is an L for Longitudinal Primary Care Practice. So you select Location L, Diagnosis must be uh, L23, and your service must be 98990. If you've got all that in place, that is all you need, and you can say OK to start billing all those patients. And all those billings is going to be a zero amount. It is just to put them onto your panel. So if I click OK there, it will start doing the billing. And running through my 37 patients is very quick and easy, and all of them are refused because they're not real patients. And that's what it is. So let's get to the other stuff that you can do. If you haven't got the Add Quick Bill facility there on your Undoc group, then you can close this window. The solution for that is to ask IntraHealth to upgrade your version of Profile to a version 8.8. .8. But if you want to do it now, you can go to your active panel. So there you've got all your active patients. And if I press Shift and the down arrow, then you'll see I'm marking them all. I can Press page down to go through all of them, or I can press shift control N to go to the end, and then I've marked all my patients. And now we can add the quick ball action from the toolbar. So I click on the toolbar on quick ball, and there I've got all the patients in a slightly different format. So again, check all to mark all of them. And then say OK for all. And there we're at our uh, quick ball uh, window again. So the provider, enter your initials. And then the service code is the new code 98990. And the diagnosis is the L23. And the location is important. That should be L for your longitudinal ones. And then you can submit them. And there we go. So there is an alternative if your profile has not been updated. Okay, that's all from my side. 